now for the main course of the evening. So we have one great presentation left, and uh, I would like to introduce Professor <laughs> Nikolai Kuznetsov, um, of course, from the um, the St. Petersburg uh, State University, and then also Uvascula 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 yeah. University. <laughs> I'm so happy that we have you here. And uh, I, I was really, uh, it wasn't that easy to, to get into Finland these times. But uh, I'm really happy that you're here. And uh, I heard that you're going to Uvascula as well. Right yes, this. we will have PhD defense uh, after a few days. So thanks a lot for the invitation. Uh, Just give me a second, here. guys, for sure. For me, it's uh, a real pleasure and uh, honor to be here and uh, deliver a presentation. So I'm very thankful for Klaus, for the organization, and for the academy. Uh, the title of the presentation will be Hidden Attractors in Science and Technology. And uh, I would like to start with the presentation with uh, the motivation movie. So please uh, start the video. Yet he is all too familiar with the dangers of flight test. In 1992, while piloting an Air Force prototype, a computer malfunction sends Morgenfeld's aircraft into a violent oscillation. After skidding in flames for more than a mile, Morgenfeld walks away unharmed. Uh, instead of being uh, in the neighborhood of uh, constant state, uh, started to be attracted to the oscillation. And in this lecture, I would like to discuss some related fundamental problems, which is still unsolved. Uh, uh, first, uh, uh, in this presentation, I will start with the uh, some description of mathematical language will I will need for this presentation. Uh, when it will be introduction, I will consider the classical Poincaré problem on analysis of dynamics. Uh, when I will discuss the problems of global stability and revealing of attractors. And when uh, two parts uh, dedicated to uh, hidden attractors in uh, well-known fundamental problems and hidden attractors in uh, technologies and some applied models. And at the end, uh, some conclusions. So first, uh, I need to introduce some language uh, for this presentation, and I would like to recall uh, uh, the Galileo Galilei here. He wrote that the universe is written in the language of mathematics. And uh, for my lecture, I will need uh, also mathematical language, and uh, we will need to introduce such concepts as dynamical systems, linear and nonlinear, uh, phase space trajectories, equilibrium points, stable and unstable, attractors, basin of attraction, and such characteristic of attractors as global, local, self-excited, and hidden. And uh, the problem under consideration will be how to reveal all attractors in a given system and basin of attraction. Uh, new mathematical concepts uh, and methods allow us uh, nowadays to reveal uh, common difficulties in a number of uh, well-known fundamental theoretical problems and applied models on stability and attractors, and uh, also led uh, to discovery of uh, uh, previously unknown attractors in well-studied systems. The lecture uh, will show that uh, widely used conjectures on global stability and attractors may be wrong. And uh, I will discuss your impact on engineering technologies. Uh, so to introduce uh, the needed concept, uh, I prepared very funny pictures. So we will need a dynamical system. And uh, as dynamical system, uh, we can consider MUMI, uh, Mumi, uh, he's working or she's working on the landscape, and here you can see linear trajectory. Uh, it means that we have linear dynamics here, and uh, because of water here, he needs to go uh, in non-linear, uh, follow non-linear path, and here we have non-linear dynamics here. So we have phase space with landscape, we have dynamical model, and we have trajectory. 
Uh, when uh, on this landscape it's easy to find equilibrium point, and uh, this is unstable equilibrium point because with small disturbance we move we roll down, and here we have stable equilibrium point because even under small disturbance mummy will be here. Uh, when uh, on this landscape we can have attractors, apples, and from the uh, from the standpoint. Uh, uh, from standing on this uh, unstable equilibrium point, Mumi can see this apple and this apple. That means that these two attractors are self-excited with respect uh, to this equilibrium point. But under the bridge, we have another attractor which is hidden from the Mumi. This attractor is hidden, but if Mumi would sit here, this attractor would be seen for him. So that means that each attractor has uh, its own basin of attraction. And uh, some basins are connected to equilibrium points and some are not. So uh, uh, in uh, practical problems, often uh, the desired situation when we have only one global attractor in the model, that means that from any initial conditions, our trajectory will be uh, uh, going toward this attractor, and uh, here you see the corresponding picture. Only one attractor, and from any point here, Mumi uh, will see this attractor and can go to it. Now uh, we can describe, uh, describe the same concept in mathematics, and uh, I will consider in my presentation uh, difference equation and differential equation. Of course, it's possible to introduce here phase space, uh, for example, real numbers, trajectories. Uh, we can find equilibrium points for our maps and for our uh, differential equations here. Uh, but uh, attractors and basin of attraction can be found analytically in mathematical language only for rather simple uh, dynamical models. And uh, here you have some uh, corresponding examples. For example, for this linear model, we can easily see that our trajectory will tend to zero, and uh, the same for differential equation. And for this nonlinear model, we can easily see that our trajectory will tend to zero if initial condition is less than one, or if initial condition is greater than one, when our trajectory will tend to infinity. That means that we have multi-stability here. Uh, now, uh, how to find uh, how to find attractors in the uh, in uh, and the basin of attraction in a general case? It's uh, impossible to do it for a general model. And uh, Andre Poincaré suggested to construct the curves defined by differential equation. It's the only way to study the complex dynamics. And uh, you can see, for example, on this two-dimensional map that limiting dynamics can be very complex. In the previous presentation, it was introduced uh, the dimension of the set, uh, and dimension in this case uh, will be uh, fractional, not integer. So the set is very complex. Attractors uh, may have very complex structure and can be described, uh, described here only, uh, only numerically. And in practice, it's often uh, uh, desirable to have, as I said, unique attractor which attracts all trajectories. Uh, that means that we have global attractor. And the best case for practical models when we have uh, such attractor, uh, such attractor, a stable equilibrium point, and such systems called globally stable. So, how we check? That, uh, how we check global stability uh, in our model in, in general case. For the global stability, uh, we, can, uh, we need to reveal all non-trivial attractors, and, uh, of course, we can easily find equilibrium points and determine your stability and stability analytically and numerically. For, we, for that, we need to find uh, zeros of this function and consider linearization and apply uh, some well-known uh, algebraic criteria of stability and instability. So, in general, we have stable and unstable equilibrium points in our phase space. Uh, stable points are okay, but uh, we need to check what trajectories uh, from the vicinity of unstable equilibrium points uh, will be attracted uh, to equilibria, uh, stable equilibria or to non-trivial attractor. And uh, we can uh, do it numerically or physically. For example, when I have pendulum wave friction, I can start my trajectory from the upper point, and after time, my trajectory will be attracted to this zero point. So in this case, we have 
uh, global stability in the system, except of upper equilibrium, but uh, for physical models it's not important because of noise and uh, we cannot be here for a long time. So in the same way, we can reveal uh, not only global stability, but also attractors. For example, in Van der Poel model, if we will start in the vicinity of unstable equilibrium, we will reveal this periodic attractor, which is self-excited with respect to equilibrium point. And in the same way, we can reveal, uh, for example, chaotic uh, attractors in classical Lorentz model. We'll have three equilibrium points here, and I can start in the vicinity of any of these equilibria, and after time, I will consider such nice uh, blue butterfly. Uh, but what to do if the basin of attraction of our attractor is not connected with equilibria? And in this year, in 2009, during my study and work in Uvascular University, we introduced the following classification of attractor. An attractor is called self-excited if its basin of attraction uh, intersects with small vicinity of equilibrium. That means that it could be revealed in such standard procedure. Otherwise, it is called a hidden attractor. And hidden attractors are often not visible in numerical and physical experiments since there is no regular way to choose initial data, initial point for our computation in the basin of attraction. Uh, so now I will consider uh, corresponding uh, fundamental problems uh, dedicated to self-excited and hidden attractors and global stability. And I would like to start with the uh, very classical and very old and still unsolved 16 Gilbert problem. More than 100, 100 years ago, David Gilbert uh, on Mathematical Congress formulated some problems, and uh, one of these problems is the following. We have two-dimensional uh, dynamical model here with polynomial right-hand side, and Gilbert asked how many uh, periodic attractors we can have in this model and uh, can we predict the disposition of these attractors. And the problem is still unsolved even for quadratic polynomial models here. So a very simple system and still unsolved this problem. Uh, one of the first results was obtained by Petrovsky and Landis. Petrovsky was the director of Moscow State University at that time, and uh, they proved that only three limit cycles uh, can be found in this model. And when Petrovsky found a gap, until the end of his life, he tried to fill this gap without success. In this year, it was found that it's possible to construct four limit cycles uh, for such model. And the best uh, uh, up to now theoretical upper estimation is that uh, the number of uh, limit cycles, periodic attractors here, is finite. So big gap, we know that it's possible to construct four limit cycles and the maximum number is finite. So how to find for a given system such attractors? It's a very interesting uh, description of uh, experiments conducted by Karl Magorov in Moscow State University. Kolmogorov distributed, uh, distributed parameters among the students and asked them to find limit cycles in such models. And the result was uh, completely uh, unpredictable. Uh, no, one, uh, no one found any limit cycles in such system. So that means that it's uh, very difficult uh, for a given system to find, uh, uh, to find uh, such periodic attractors, and uh, it's very difficult to find uh, a point uh, in the space of parameters. But it's known that uh, such space has the full measure, so it's uh, possible to do it. And uh, now we can apply uh, developed uh, modern analytical numerical methods uh, which uh, helped us uh, to at least to find such attractors and to visualize them in the model. And uh, we developed methods which allow us to visualize uh, four uh, periodic uh, attractors and laperials here. And uh, here we have the following situation. Stable equilibrium point when unstable periodic limiting orbit and when stable orbit. So if we will start the simulation in the vicinity of equilibrium, we will not reach this green hidden attractor here. Another very interesting problem, uh, we can consider not only polynomial side, but we can consider uh, uh, other functions where. And if I will consider cosinus function instead of polynomial in Hilbert problem, we can find infinite number of uh, periodic uh, attractors and infinite number of hidden attractors here. And uh, we will fill the whole phase space. 
That means that numerical search cannot help us to reveal all of them because we need to consider infinite phase space. So it's impossible to do it numerically. And we need uh, to develop analytical numerical methods. And uh, it's possible to do it. It's possible to consider here some generalization of harmonic balance method. In previous presentation, you see some Fourier analysis. It uh, can be applied here also. And by this analysis, we can find initial condition for visualization of each of attractors here and find all of them, but only by numerical analytical methods. So it's uh, not enough to apply only theory and not enough here to apply only numerics. We need to combine them. Another more practical problem was formulated by very famous uh, Hungarian and American engineer Rudolf Kalman. Maybe uh, you know Kalman filters. And uh, Kalman, when he was rather young, worked on the stability of control systems. And uh, in his paper, he formulated the criteria that if we have a differential equation with one scalar nonlinearity, and for any approximation of this nonlinearity, we will have stable linear system, then nonlinear system also will be stable. He additionally required that not only nonlinearity, but also the derivative of nonlinearity should be from the sector of linear stability. And uh, if uh, uh, this condition is fulfilled, he wrote that it is intuitively clear that the system must be monostable. That means that any trajectory in the control system will be attracted to stable equilibrium, not like uh, we, uh, uh, we had in the case of aircraft landing. Uh, it's very interesting that Kalman uh, had fantastic engineering intuition and the statement is true for three-dimensional model, for uh, the phase space which is very understandable for us. But in four-dimensional model, this conjecture is not true. And it's possible to construct contra-example when we will have locally stable equilibrium point and somewhere in the phase space we will have hidden attractor with rather narrow basin of attraction. And if the state of your system, because of some disturbance like we have for aircraft because of wind, will be attracted to this basin of attraction, the state started to oscillate. And uh, for engineering uh, control system, of course, it's a very bad situation. We constructed a number of counterexamples to this problem, and I communicated uh, with uh, Rudolf, and he wrote to me about examples with hidden attractors that uh, he was too young at that time and lacking technical mathematical knowledge to go more deeply into the matter. But I had to add to this sentence that a few years later, Kalman, together with uh, uh, Romanian mathematician and engineer Popov and Russian mathematician Yakubovich obtain uh, famous Kalman Yakubovich lemma, sufficient conditions uh, uh, which guarantee the absence of hidden installation, but such conditions are very strict and, uh, not, uh, and cannot be applied for all needed systems. Uh, the generalization of this conjecture was formulated by Margus and Imabia. They allowed to consider not only uh, uh, scalar function, but any other function. And uh, uh, it's possible to construct counterexamples to this conjecture on global stability by the first approximation. Here you can see three-dimensional polynomial model. And if you will consider only linear path, this model will be stable. And even more, it will be stable uh, for linearization uh, at any uh, point at the phase space, but still there are some trajectories tending to infinity, so we don't have global stability here, while linear analysis show us that the system should be, uh, should be stable. Now let's consider some practical examples, and I would like to consider one example connected to aircrafts. Uh, the president, former president of the Russian Academy of Science, a uh, very famous scientist, Mstislav Keldosh, he is very well known because he, at that time, computed trajectories to the moon. Uh, he worked uh, on the suppression of flutter, uh, suppression of some oscillation of uh, control aircraft systems, and uh, wrote in this year a paper where he, uh, where he considered the following model uh, with such uh, non-linearity, so it's a control system considered by Kalman, and that year, in that paper, he proved the global stability. But uh, uh, that time, uh, uh, he, don't, uh, he didn't have uh, any powerful analytical methods. So he wrote that uh, he did not give a rigorous mathematical proof, but construct a number of conclusions on intuitive consideration. 
And now using developed analytical numerical methods in his model, we can find the following situation. We have, uh, 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 we have the rest of stable equilibria here, so it's okay for, uh, from the engineering point of view. And uh, trajectories from the vicinity bill were attracted to equilibrium point, that's okay. But somewhere in this phase space, far from these equilibrium points, we have uh, coexistence of hidden attractors. And if the state of the control system of aircraft because of wind uh, will be attracted to basin of attraction of these two attractors, it started to oscillate and we will have problem. So uh, this gives us counterexample also to the Kalman conjecture. And about uh, the movie, which was shown at the beginning in this paper, it was written that stability in simulation doesn't imply stability of the physical control system, and stronger theoretical understanding is required. Because real system, uh, in real system, the phase space uh, can, be, uh, can have a very large dimension, and by random choosing of initial condition, of course, you cannot reveal all possible attractors in the phase space. So another very interesting uh, problem is uh, Leon Chua conjecture on house in Chua circuits. Uh, Leon Chua, a very famous engineer from USA, from Berkeley, elaborated a very simple uh, electronic circuit with one non-linear element to generate chaotic behavior. And uh, uh, this circuit is very popular. If you will check uh, through Google Scholar, you will find more than 100 uh, of thousand citation or using of uh, Chua circuits. And hundreds of different Chua tractors have, be, uh, have uh, been revealed uh, by the standard computation when you switch on the electricity or start uh, computation from the vicinity of zero equilibrium point. Uh, after some times, uh, your state started to oscillate and uh, you will have such nice pictures. But all these attractors up to recent time were only self-excited. And applying the previous idea, we were able to find hidden attractors uh, in his model and to find the parameters uh, for which we will have locally stable equilibrium point coexistence with these green hidden attractors with very narrow basin of attraction. So it's very difficult even in physical experiment to choose initial data to visualize them. And uh, because uh, Chua worked only physically with uh, this model and in physical experiment, it's difficult to change initial condition here because you just switch on the electricity and uh, you always start from the vicinity of zero equilibrium point. He wrote that if the zero equilibrium is stable, then there are no attractors here. Such first counterexamples were constructed uh, recently in 2011 and we together with my scientific uh, fathers, uh, Professor Pekka Nitamiaki and Professor Gennady Leonov uh, wrote some papers and uh, I sent uh, them to Leon Chua. He was amused because after so many years new types of attractors were found and asked us how many such attractors can be found. So it's chaotic generalization of uh, 16 Gilbert problem. How many attractors can be found in his circuits? And this is photo from our last meeting with him uh, in Dresden in 2000. 15, I think. Uh, so uh, we, up to now, the best answer is the following, that it's possible to find five attractors in Chua circuits. Uh, three of them will be hidden. It will be a large uh, periodic hidden attractor here, two hidden chaotic attractors here, and two trivial attractors, two locally stable equilibrium points. So maybe uh, the problem is still open. Maybe it's possible to find more. Uh, another corresponding problem corresponds uh, to very classical uh, uh, regulator in the control, James Watt flying bow regulator, which was elaborated to maintain the constant uh, angular speed. And uh, uh, in, uh, mathematicians were asked to prove uh, the global stability of such model. And this work was done by academician Andronov. And the results was very interesting that uh, in this model, uh, the, uh, the um, criteria of global stability obtained by Maxwell and Vishnigradsky 
also imply global stability. So it's best situation for, uh, from the engineering point of view. So you don't need to consider non-linearity here. It just, uh, you can just uh, analyze linear pattern. If uh, your linear system is stable, non-linear system is also stable. And maybe because of these results, various criteria and conjectures on global stability by the first approximation started to be put forward. So uh, if we will consider a little modification of uh, this device uh, from the practical point of view, it's better to have a servo motor here. And this model was considered by Stadola. It's possible to find hidden attractors in this model. So if you will start in small vicinity of equilibrium point of view, everything will be okay and you will have constant, uh, constant angular velocity speed. But if you will start far, from uh, this equilibrium point when your system started to oscillate. And of course, you have some problems and accidents. Also, it's very interesting that if you will apply here uh, also the ideas of Fourier series considered in the previous uh, lecture, you will not find such oscillations here because of um, discontinuous nonlinearity here and uh, some other problems. Uh, so another interesting example is uh, famous Sommerfeld effect, very famous uh, German mathematician um, and physicist also. Uh, he considered the following problem. You can imagine that you stay uh, at the small boat uh, in the lake and started to rotate uh, the rope with stone at the end. And uh, you would like to increase the angular, uh, angular speed. And your energy can be started to increasing the angular speed or can be started to vibration of the boat. And Sommerfeld described this effect. It's a very bad effect when you start an uh, electrical motor on the poor foundation. And uh, this foundation uh, can start to oscillate. And from the point of view of the theory of hidden oscillation, we have here in the phase space uh, two attractors, one with... Uh, uh, large vibration of the foundation and uh, small angular velocity, and uh, now one is a proper working regime. But if the system is started normally, when you switch on the electricity from the zero equilibrium point, for bad parameters, you will be attracted to this bad regime. And uh, for engineers, somehow it's necessary to help the system to uh, uh, come over this bad, uh, uh, bad uh, basin of attraction. So the same situation for drilling system, and this work was done in the Eindhoven Technical University in the group of Henk, Henk Niemeyer. Uh, you can first start the rotation of the drill and then connect it to the wall, or you can first connect the wall and then start the rotation. And for some parameters, you can also can get here hidden oscillation, which is uh, very bad for uh, practical application of drilling. So now some conclusions. Uh, the concept of uh, hidden attractors reflected the common difficulties in studying a number of well-known theoretical and applied problems and also led to the discovery of new hidden attractors in previously well-studied systems. And uh, if you check Google Scholar, it will return about uh, 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 45,000 results for hidden attractors now. Localization of hidden attractors requires the development of special analytical and numerical methods. So you cannot find them uh, often by analytics only or by numerics only. You need to combine both approaches. And some methods are developed uh, to do that. Conjectures on global stability by the first approximation expect, uh, expect a trivial boundary of the global stability in the phase space. Trivial parts of uh, this boundary defined by local bifurcations and can be revealed analytically, while hidden parts of this global stability boundary in the phase space of parameters defined by non-local bifurcations and by the birth of hidden oscillations and hidden attractors and can be revealed by analytical numerical methods. The theory of hidden oscillations both, uh, is caused by the revision of fundamental problems and classical methods and by the development of new analytical numerical methods. When development, uh, developing new mathematical methods for analyzing uh, complex dynamics, for example, now we can uh, analyze very complex models described by partial differential equation. We can use artificial intelligence, uh, supercomputers, and many other tools and technologies. It's very important to remember about remaining unsolved classical problems and uh, the corresponding difficulties that must be overcome. 
And in the end, I would like to say that technologies and your learning uh, become so complex that often students do not have enough time to study the underlying fundamental mathematical problems. Uh, uh, I would like to say that uh, this work uh, was possible because of our collaboration between Uyaskela University and St. Petersburg University. In uh, 2007, the joint uh, program was organized by two deans at that time, Professor Pekani Tamiaki from Uyaskela University and uh, uh, Gennady Leonov, the Dean of Mathematics and Mechanics Faculty from the St. Petersburg. And this collaboration allowed to combine the theoretical uh, mathematical methods developed uh, in the group of Professor Leonov and modern approaches for the numerical analysis and simulation of real-world system developed in the group of Professor Nitamiaki and was to obtain a number of breakthrough results. In 2007, I defended uh, uh, the dissertation in Uvascula, the first ideas uh, on the theory of hidden oscillations were expressed, uh, and the dissertation called Stability and Oscillations of Dynamical Systems Theory of uh, Theory and Applications, and uh, it was supervised by Professor Nita Miaki and Gennady Leonov. Gennady Leonov uh, was uh, elected uh, uh, as a member of uh, Finnish Academy of Science and Letters, but uh, unfortunately he passed away a few years ago. This program is uh, still, we continue uh, to work in this program, and in total, 14 PhD dissertations uh, have been defended during the last uh, 40, 14 years, and uh, I would like to say that this year, Lut University joined the program. So, thanks a lot for your attention. Kitas. Thank you very much, uh, Professor. Um, so, hidden attractors in science and technologies. We actually have a few minutes, so I would like to interview for a few yeah, questions, yeah. if that's okay. Yeah, 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 that's okay, of course. Uh, what a beautiful example of collaboration. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, so in, in St. Petersburg, Petersburg University, you're the head of applied cybernetics. cybernetics. Yeah, exactly. And you've been uh, a member of Finnish Academy of Science and Letters. Since yeah, thanks a lot for the election. Indeed, it was unbelievable for me. <laughs> and last year I got an announcement that I was elected. So thanks a lot. It's a big honor for me. And of course, a lot of obligations to continue uh, our collaboration. And it's very natural and very fruitful. Mm. Uh, I've understood that you've been elected for the Clarivate highly cited <laughs> list for three consecutive years yes. now. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, so, first time it was uh, five years ago uh, when we started that program, uh, uh, highly citation. We uh, selected uh, highly cited papers uh, through Web of Science. And uh, it's necessary to have maybe 10 such highly cited papers uh, which are in the first percent uh, of uh, citation in the field. And uh, so it was only completely unexpected for me, but it mostly due to our collaboration, uh, collaboration between two groups, because the ideas started to be very understandable from the theoretical point of view and from the numerical point of view. And because of that, a lot of application, I only considered here mostly technical application, but a lot of application in economy, in social science, and many other papers. So people started to... Uh, continue this work and to use uh, these methods. And because of that, our paper started uh, to be cited. Of course, it's not uh, the goal for the group, but uh, of course, it's very <laughs> I'm very pleased <laughs> that uh, we just selected. So, and so uh, again, would like to thank my uh, scientific fathers, uh, Gennady Leonov and uh, Pekka Nitamiaki, who directed me to this way. Mm -hmm. It's all about passing the torch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's a great example as well in, in collaboration between different uh, groups and between different countries, between different areas, and also on a high level of making, making science, it's uh, all about collaboration. Yeah. yeah. I would like to add that uh, we, uh, when we organized our department uh, almost uh, 
15 years ago, we tried to collaborate with various groups in Europe and in the USA, but uh, the most natural collaboration between St. Petersburg, of course, is with Finland, because we are very close. It's not necessary to be here all the time. It's possible just to use Allegro or Yoka, to be here just for the half of the day, uh, to give a lecture to teach students, and when they can, can be back, it's not necessary to send the students to be here for all time and so on. And we also have a lot of uh, join uh, business companies and uh, many of our students from St. Petersburg now working here is, uh, in some IT companies and so I think it's a very fruitful collaboration for our future. Perfect. <laughs> Professor Nikolai Kuznetsov, yeah, everyone. Thank you.